Good afternoon, everybody. This is Crystal with Crystal's Creation Swipe Off. How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are having a good Independence Festive July 4th weekend. We are just hanging out here at home, not going anywhere. We are keeping a low key because we have doggies that are highly afraid of fireworks. Especially my little guy who's hanging out in the doorway right here. So I have the door open and we have music playing in the background, which I guess is okay, right? Yeah, so we got our radio playing, got my favorite radio station on in the background, out there in the living rooms, probably can't hear it, so we have it on for the dogs to try and keep them calm, and we gave them some calming treats to keep them calm, and you now since they're both old, getting older, they both have had their you know, pain meds, which reminds me I need to order s their stuff today. So I need to do that after I finish our neighbor's July 4th bowling card. So I have my card stock. So let's get lowered, okay? <laughs> For the card. All right, so we have our card base. So we have this. We have our bowling pins that we've cut out, all 10 of them. Okay, so I thought I would do a slimline card. Okay, so now I'm gonna do is finish cutting out this dude, this pinhead dude, because it says pinheads rule, right? So I said I would do a part two. I know you've all been waiting patiently for a pinhead. I mean, for a, what did I just say? <laughs> waiting patiently for a pinhead? Oh gosh. I mean, waiting patiently for part two. See, told you. Uh, yeah, it's been one of those days today. So, yeah. So, I am fully now a full-fledged design team. Now, I'm not going to use this part of the guy bowling. I'm not going to use that part down below. I never do, sometimes I don't use the whole part of him. I mean, I suppose I could. I never noticed it before. But I need to start paying attention when I stamp sometimes. I don't pay attention to those extra lines down there. And I was gonna color that and I forgot and I just cut it out, oh well. So, we're gonna finish this because his birthday is tomorrow. He is an independence birthday and he goes all out for his birthday. He has a huge party every year, plus he does a barbecue for his July 4th birthday. Because his birthday is on July 4th. I don't know if he's going to do it today or not, so we're going to make this card, finish it today, and take it to him today, so I don't have to worry about taking it to him tomorrow, because I'm sure it's going to be pretty loud tomorrow around here, because tomorrow I'm going to load up my tote, my crafty tote, and I'm going to take my laptop and a bunch of crafty supplies and I'm gonna go downstairs with the dogs and we're just gonna hang out in the basement and craft and watch YouTube videos. That is what my July 4th is gonna be like. So and I'm gonna play with some of my new design team digital stamps tomorrow and who knows I might do another video and post it tomorrow who knows so keep a lookout on for that. So if you see my watermark for my, um, above my on up picture instead of me, then you'll know. But I don't expect to get a high volume of lookers <laughs> today or tomorrow if I do a video and that's okay because I know it's July 4th weekend and a lot of people are probably off camping with their loved ones and having fun. 
I am one who does not like fireworks anymore. I do not like the loud booms and the bombs and the bangs and the things that go kabooms. I don't like those anymore. I just don't. I don't mind the smoke bombs and the little spinners on the ground. I don't mind those. And the snakes. I like those. But what are some of your favorite fireworks? I'm curious. I mean, here in Colorado, we have a uh, firework ban up. And we actually have one here in Adams County where we have a, uh, if you get caught setting off illegal fireworks that go up in the air, you get a $500 fine the first time. You get a $1,000 fine the second time. And you go to jail the third time. No if ands, or buts about it. So that is how it is here where we live in Colorado. So we're not setting any off. Plus it's too dry, too tinder dry here. And I think that's why we have a law set in place. But we've had a lot of neighbors around here that set them off that, you know, they just they don't seem to care, but you know, that's okay, I guess. <laughs> they get caught, it's on their own. I'm not one to turn people in anyway, so I don't like to turn people in, so they get caught on their own. So if the police come down the street, well, but I guess the police are too busy to do other things, so. But I don't know. But I'm not a I'm not a what do you call those snitchy people? I don't like to snitch on people. So, but if they catch my flowers on fire, well, that's a whole another ballpark. <laughs> then I'll have something to say. Then I'll be upset. But yeah, I had just fallen asleep last night, and then all of a sudden, right before midnight, oh my goodness, guys, it got really loud. It woke me up right out of a deep sleep. I think I was in that REM sleep, and I was like, big kaboom, right outside our bedroom window, and we sleep in the basement, so our master bedroom is in the basement and it I mean it was loud right outside our bedroom window I was like no come on people <sighs> but I just wish oh well it is what it is right we go through this every year <laughs> But, oh well. And then the poor doggies. We have a lot of neighbors, though, that are not blowing them off this year. Just because our dogs are really afraid of them this year. We're not liking them. And I was talking to the guy yesterday at Michael's. And he said that um, he is staying in tomorrow too, and because his dog is afraid of him too. And I should have suggested to him about getting his doggies some calming treats at Petco, but I forgot to tell him. But so, um, but oh well. We're almost done cutting this out. I 
And then we will finish putting this card together. And I think I will put white splatter on this. I was gonna do like a red, white, and blue splatter, but since I am doing a blue background, a blue flip card, a slimline card, I think we'll just do a white splatter. Or I could change it to a white. I don't know. I don't know what to do, guys. I'm torn here. Because he's bowling. I could do that one stencil that I used in the live yesterday. <sighs> or, wait. I have some star stencils, guys. Wait, you know what? Let's flip. Let's do something here. You know what? I have a better idea. Let's scrap this. Let me... Hold on, I'll be right back, guys. I have a better idea. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on a second. I have a better idea. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, I have this stamp set here, and I just grabbed a white cardstock base for the base again. So, we're going to do white instead of blue, and that's okay. Because we're going to do a bowling alley lane with red, white, and blue. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to fold this. We're going to score it at four and a quarter. So yesterday I went to Michael's. For those of you that didn't see my live yet. So yesterday I went to Michael's and got two things of 100 sheets of 110 pound heavyweight cardstock by Recollections. And boy, I tell ya, the cost of paper is like going up. I don't know if it's because we're still under a shortage of paper and plastic, but, or if it's the shortage of workers or a combination of everything, but I guess the, we have to do the cost of supply and demand, you know, I guess we gotta pay for it, but, but while I was there, I had a $10 off coupon because I ended up getting, um, a few weeks ago, last month, I got a Cricut Joy, um, and I ended up, they sent me a $10 off coupon. And so I was able to use a $10 off coupon on this new paper trimmer because I was desperate for a new paper trimmer. That black one that I kept using, the numbers were black on black on a black paper trimmer. And it was getting really hard to read. And I know I, I traced it, I put a white gel pen on it. And it was just, it was just getting, and this part didn't lift on it. And it was getting really hard to fish underneath there to take the paper strips out of underneath it. And so I needed a new trimmer to where I can lift this. And so I've been wanting a Fiskars paper trimmer for a while, but now that I finally got a $10 off coupon for Michaels, I was like, yay, sold. So I got my paper, my white card stock, because being on the design team now of Polka Dot, Pepe, Polka Dot Orchard, um, you know, I'm going to need the white paper and I'll probably be going through lots of it. <laughs> so, and this thing has a thing on the back. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me show you. So this thing has like a little hole right here so I can hang it on my wall. I don't have to have it on the floor anymore. So I have a thumbtack up there. I just hang it right on there. It just hangs up on the wall. It's okay. So now we have our card base. Oops. So we are gonna try. So I remembered I had all these hearts and stars that my friend Tony gave me. Thanks to her, I had remembered. It's like, oh yeah, I have all these. Oh, I must have cut this from something, decided to save it, and don't remember why. Um, and I know that 
our neighbor next door. I know he's so into football and hockey, but I don't. And I know Simon Hurley has a hockey set. And I should have ordered that instead, but I knew it wouldn't get here in time. So we're going to do bowling instead. So I'm going to use these raining stars, this raining star set. And we're going to do this down the, we're going to try and do this down the alley. We have raining hearts too. I always forget to use this. I always forget I have it because it's locked away. So we are going to try and figure out how to use this. So that is what we're going to do. Okay. So let me get my pink. We're going to tape this down. So in case you're wondering what this pink tape is called, it's by iCraft. So this is pink iCraft tape. Okay. You can get it from iCraft is also sold on Thermo Rib. Thermo Web, I should say. Thermo Web. I think I'll use this one too. Maybe I'll use this one for the border. I have lights, but it's like a strand of 20 lights, but that would take up a lot of time to do a light up card. I'll have to get some, um, hold it, tape. You're supposed to be reusable here, I thought. So, um, uh, let's see here. We're going to go. I'm going to need my stamping thing here, I think. We're going to have to go with this, I think. Wow, that fits in just right. So we're going to put this at the top. I know on the side. Let's put you on the side, okay? And then we're going to put these. Right there. And this one here. So we're going to put you guys down the middle, okay? Okay. So we're going to make these blue stars and then okay so I'm going to use good old Simon Hurley's midnight snack okay So that should be about the middle of a bowling lane. That looks good. Uh, I'm to make sure I only stamp the stars and nothing else. Oops. look cute or I could do blue and then do red what do you think should we try it oh that got on there oh well let's try it that might look cute well but he's got a lighter blue lunar pasted bowling ball on a shirt and shoes on but he'll still stand out so that might work let's try it guys Oops. So let's try it. So let's move this down. So let's go to red. And then I'm just going to use a darker red. I'm going to use uh, Crown Me. Or Game Over. Not Crown Me. I don't know why I keep calling it Crown Me. Why do I call it Crown Me? Where do I get crown me from? So, ah, oh no, you guys. Shoot, shoot, where's that eraser? Ah. <laughs> I 
I didn't realize I had blue on my finger. <sighs> Good thing I have a mono sand eraser. Well, maybe this will be covered up with pins or a sentiment or something. Ah, uh, oh, of course, I would make a mistake. On a video, as always, uh, the joys of making YouTube videos. <gasps> oh no, don't blow away, guys. Darn it, I didn't realize I had such blue on my fingers. Okay, I'm gonna overlap this a little bit. We're gonna mix in a little red with a little blue, okay? That's what we're gonna do. Because that will look kind of cool. And we can do that, right? Okay, so here is game over, not crown me. Okay, that looks good. So let's do it one more time. Looks pretty. That looks good. So I just uh, got it felt weird going on to um, my uh, design team or the website earlier using my code that I got to use and buying two more. Um, digital stamp sets almost like for free it's like felt so weird so I picked out two more digital stamp sets that you will see me use and they're military style too I mean you can use them for July 4th but I like I see myself using them more for veterans and stuff so I will definitely be making videos for those and stuff like that but uh yeah you guys she makes, she has some really good card makers or some designers in her store for um, polka dot, um, polka dot, um, te -te. polka dot orchard store. Okay, so now let's do another thing of blue. So this time we're going to intertwine with intermingle in with the red. I don't know why I put the blue away. This is gonna look cool, I think. Hopefully he likes his card. I hope, right? Okay, this time let's not get blue all over thy fingers. So again, back to Midnight Snack. can find on Ranger inks. Oops, I don't think I see any blue on some of them stars, do you? Oh, I think maybe I do, but I don't know. It's hard to say sometimes. I never, when I buy inks from Ranger, I never buy the Ray inkers because these inks last forever and ever, it seems like. So for very seldom do I ever get one that comes to me completely dried up. And that was a uh, piggyback and I had to, you know, I had to get a hold. And that was pre-COVID and I had to get a hold of customer service and tell them, hey, I uh, 
Got an ink that uh, came to me completely dried up. Help, what do I do? So they sent me, um, they sent me uh, a re-inker, which I never thought of ordering re-inkers with the inks before because I expect them to come, you know, I always think, oh, they're gonna come, you know, with ink in them. And I, I still, even after that, I still have never ordered re-inkers with my ink pads because I always expect them to come inked up all the time. And and ever since then, they've always had ink in them, so I've never had issues, and they last. So that's what I like about, you know, Ranger inks. They take care of you, too. I mean, they really do. That's why I like being an affiliate form too. They they go out of your way. And I'm not sure where these stamps came from. I cannot help you with that. They do. They did came from my friend, um, a friend of mine. So they feel like, I think she might have got these at Tuesday morning, so they feel like a Tuesday morning stamp set, so I'm assuming that's where she got them, because I used to get a bunch of my stuff from them too, and so it looks like there's a, oh, there is some more stuff in there, there's more stars in there that we can add, oh yeah, there's some more stars in here. So let's see, we have some more cluster of stars that I could add for maybe a border, but I don't know, let's see. Let's get everything on first, and then see what we can do. <sighs> I might, I don't know you guys, I can't believe I made that boo-boo. So look at that, doesn't that look cool? That looks awesome. So, I might, I don't know, let's see. That looks pretty awesome. So, stay. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna have to turn this towards me, okay? So, or, no. He's gonna open the card this way, right? Yeah, he's gonna open the card this way. So, I'm trying to think. So I need to put him down here, right? Bowling pins. How do the bowling pins go? I know they go, let's see. Let's see, one, two. Hang on, this tape is not staying. Obviously it's not sticky enough for my liking. There we go. Now it'll stay. So, can't remember. Is it one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, and then one, right? So I'm wondering, you guys, I'm wondering how I can make these look like they're standing up. So I'm going to put him on a wibble, wibble wobble thing. I have plenty of those. <sighs> so let's get him on that. I have two packs of those, and then that one gal that lives in Arvada gave me a pack of those too. I was like, 
Oops, that stick. Ooh, that one, the sticky stuff wants to come off. That's what I got from her. I'll get one of mine. Hold on. Don't fall off. Please do not. So let's. Yeah, there we go. Much better. So let's put him on this way. Okay. So there, he's on his weevil wobble. <laughs> I feel like, what's that one song, Weevil Wobble, or that one saying Weevil Wobble and we don't fall down? Remember that one show? Wasn't there a show called Weevil Wobble? Or something called Weevil Wobble? That's just strong cardstock and it's not holding down with that tape. I thought that was going to be good tape when I bought it yesterday. So now I need to figure out, guys, how to do my bowling pins. I know how they go. I just need to figure out how to get them to stand up. So I'm going to have to get my daughter in here to help me for a second. So I will be right back. So oh, hold on guys, I'll be right back, because this is tricky. Okay, I'm back guys, we're good, yay! <laughs> so I had a bit of a, you know, like, because the last time I made one of these bowling cards, you know, because it's been eons since I went bowling. And I'm not sure about you guys, how long it's been since you've all been bowling, but the last time I made this bowling card, I apparently set up the pins a little bit the wrong way. And I, I yeah, I set them up four, three, two, one, but I had them all standing up and I didn't have them, I didn't have some of them laying down. And so I, I kind of had my daughter come in and help me um, do a layout with the pins to where they were, some of them were kind of laying down because she has a knack for some of this stuff. She's good at it and she's a college student. So sometimes she's a little bit better than I am once in a while. So I took a picture of this pin layout. So we are going to set this up the exact same way and I already have him down so he's he's a jingling so I will show you once we have all the pins down so so in case I forget I took a picture so you guys can see or I'll show you so it always helps to take a picture of your layout so in case you forget how you laid your stuff out so that does help <laughs> really 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 does and I got my barely arts glue which I'm getting really low so, so let's start with this one here which is laying right on here I'm not going to pop these up not going to pop the pins up or anything not going to do that so this one goes this way a little bit. Yep, that looks about right. Okay, then we're going to start, then we're going to go to this one. So I'm going to get all the ones on the outside. And then we'll get to the ones on the inside. This one is uh -uh. and then we're going to do this one. Whoops. Okay. And then this one was like like that and now we're 
we're going to do this one. Okay. Come on, tape. I don't know if it's this really strong, heavy duty, 110 pound weight cardstock, but it's not. Oh, and then after this, I need to go make some uh, sausage and cheese pancakes. Have you guys ever had those? If you haven't, I encourage you to try them. They're really good. Okay. So I'm going to have to blow this up. No, picture, get over here. So I'm going to blow that up so I can see it better. Okay. So I'm going to take these two off so I can get this one on. Okay. Okay, so this one goes between these two stars. That looks about right. And then Ah. Who'd ever thought that you can take a bowling card? I mean, an artist impre an art impressions bowling thing and turn it into a patriotic birthday card. We're going to angle this a little bit. Okay. This one. And then this one goes in between. These two stars. pretty good and then this one we need to angle this one was a little bit more straight not crooked and then this one goes right next to that blue and red star looks like hey, we got them we got them all glued on did we they're not falling off so there's that part so now we gotta get a sentiment on here. Actually, probably a couple sentiments on here, so we gotta cover up that mark. I don't like that. Okay, so now we can cover that part up. So let's take a couple of strips here that I have. Actually, this one is fine, it's shorter. So we have It's Your Birthday Rock and Bowl. And how about Pinhead's Rule? Pinhead's Rule, and It's Your Birthday Rock and Bowl. I like those. And my stamping block is right here. I finally found it. I need to get some more stamping blocks. I never can never seem to find them when I need them. Okay, so now we're going to use good old rock candy, which is you can find it at spellbinders.com or I can post a affiliate link so if you like this color it's almost black but I think a really really dark 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 gray I love this color it's like my favorite color for stamping with perfect and what's nice about this ink you can immediately start 
water coloring over it. You can alcohol ink over it. You can use your other inks on top of it. And it does not smear at all. I mean, it's just so fabulous. That's how much I love it. Stay. Okay, so now we are gonna take a little bit of blue. So let's see what color do we have prize ribbon. So I'm gonna take, so I'm gonna show you. So there's a little bit of prize ribbon over this. See that? Didn't even smear. Okay. And now I'm gonna take a little bit of crackling campfire. Where's that one at? Where is crackling campfire? So I have 24 brushes in here and each one has its own name on it. <laughs> yeah, sure, we'll, we'll find it. I will find you, crackling campfire. Where are you? Piggyback. Oh, I know why I keep getting crown mink. Crown mink is purple. I don't know why I get those two mixed up. I get purple and the the red one mixed up with Simon Hurley's. Why do I get those two mixed up all the time? I don't know what I did with the brush for a crackling campfire. Here's crackling campfire. This one right here. Found it. It's a yellow brush. So I ordered these brushes off of Amazon. They're flexible and they're easier on my hands because I have hands that tend to hurt if I'm cutting too much or if I'm inking too much. So that's why I like these because they're flexible. I need flexible brushes. There, that's pretty, 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 pretty. That's a shade of red. I do believe you can put it in the red family or you can put it in orange and both of these colors that I just used on this are by Tim Holtz. Okay. Which you can also find on Ranger and I will post both of those affiliate links down below in my description box. Okay. Now if I can find my fussy cutting scissors, which are also by Fiskars and I do not have an affiliate with Fiskars. I just got these at um, where did I get these a while ago? At Michael's or Hobby Lobby or Joann's. I don't remember where I found these. No, I got these on Amazon. That's where I got these. Amazon. That's where I got these. It's been a while. So now we're going to put these on and then we'll be, then we'll put a little splatter on the card. Then we'll be done because we can't finish this card without putting a little splatter. I should have put splatter on my card yesterday and I completely forgot, just kind of spaced, you know, just don't know why I spaced, but I did. Okay, there's that one. Now let's cut this one out. I don't know why my eyeballs are fogging up. I use that anti-fog glass cleaning stuff on them and I'm fogging up. Uh, it's supposed to be like 90 today and then for the next few days we're supposed to be getting hotter and hotter. We're supposed to get over, I think, over the hundreds after this next week. The next few days after the fourth, and it's like, ugh. Okay, that looks kind of cool. 
Okay, let's get my little skinny pop-up double-sided um, tape. And this girl, I think, was just on Mary Gun Fun, the Craft Roulette Show, too. I do believe. I want to say she was. I think. At least I think she was. Oh. Okay. So we're going to put Pinhead's Rule. Do to do, do. We're going to put Pinhead's Rule. Oh, that was just a piece of hair. Oh. Let's go, let's put it up here. Okay, and then we're gonna put the other one right here. That'll should cover up his, cover up that mark I put on the card. Okay. Sorry I get if my video was so long. I cannot help it. I am just long-winded sometimes. And for those of you that just subscribed to my video yesterday, my channel, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, that covers most of it. So now let's get this in the spray box. Um, oh goodness, I didn't realize I had so much stuff in my spray box. My spray box is not supposed to be for storage. some more stuff the other day yesterday and just trying to revamp stuff and I just have I need to de do some de-stashing is what I need to do so here's some blue shimmer spray and here is some red gloss spray so I think I'll just do red and blue and we'll call that good let's hope this blue works I can't remember if this one stopped working or if it was a different color I'm going to angle it that way so you guys can see, kind of see what I'm doing. Oh, ah. So I'm going to try not to spray too much all over the place. Are you ready? Get a little splatter. Ah, it wants to get all over my fingers. Oops, no, 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 not on that, not on that, not on that. Oh, no, 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 get off of that, get off that. Okay, I think you could still see that. Okay, that's enough blue. I did not want it to do that, but that's okay. It got all over my fingers. Okay, let's put a little more red, let's do a little red. I decided not to use that cardboard box anymore because it's starting to fall apart and it tends to get in my way. So these Delusion Shimmer, Shimmer Spray that I just used is called London, London Blue and these are by Diane Reveille, which you can find at Spellbinders. This is where I got these. And I got this one, I think, at Spellbinders, too. Glossy Acrylic Spray. I think you can get them either at Ranger Inks or Spellbinders. I'm not sure, but 
both, I do believe. And this one I got on Ranger because it says Ranger and this is by, oh no, this one is somebody else. It's by Dilusions by Diane Wakely. This is Diane Wakely. Sorry, I got, they're both Dianes. So I get their names mixed up, so I do apologize. Okay, I'm trying not to spray the sentiments. It's really hard. I don't, whoa, what am I spraying? The tote. Okay, we're good. Oh, that thing went all over the place. Okay, we are good. Let's get this card out of here. There it is. Ugh, that stuff is leaking. Ugh. There is our <laughs> crazy splattered card. I think I did a little bit of an overkill, don't you think? <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. But I love it. That's okay. That blue. Oh, there's a piece of hair in there. <gasps> no, we can't have that. Get that hair out of there. It's stuck to the card. <sighs> but I can dry that and watch that blue starting to spread on down. Oh, that looks cool. Yeah, I'll have to dry that with my heat tool. Why don't you go wee wee? <laughs> have fun with it. No, but yeah. So anyways, um... Yeah. I will talk to you guys later. You guys have an awesome July 4th. Happy birthday to United States of America. And thank you to all of our military members that are serving currently. Because without you, um, we probably couldn't celebrate still today. So thank you. And yeah. So thank you, and thank you to Benjamin Franklin for signing the Declaration of Independence so that we could also have a birthday today. So, yay, and all that good stuff. I think I still remember some of my history from long ago. So thank you. Anyways, love y'all. Bye.